Hey there, I'm Lonnie Ray, and I'm host of the podcast, Midlife My Ass. I'm just getting started. <laughs> and I can't wait to share more with you about that on Matt's show, Hope Revealed. But today, today I'm excited to bring you 2014. Stay tuned. It's sure to be a good one. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much, Lonnie, for saying hello. I can't wait for you guys to meet Lonnie. She is fantastic. She's got a great show, and we're going to be highlighting her here soon on Hope Revealed, so it's going to be great. Thanks for introducing the show today. Today, we're dealing with 2014, as she mentioned, and I'm getting ready to go take you down to my Studebaker today because I thought, why not? So I'll meet you there. I know it's a little dark in here, but it's fun. It's my 38 Studebaker. All right, March 2013, MH370 vanishes from Malaysia, Malaysia Airlines, while en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. A massive search operation was mounted across the Indian Ocean, but the Boeing 737 was never found. All 239 people on board are presumed dead. They found some parts recently, but still nothing else. In April, a Nigerian schoolgirl had a situation, like 300 of them. They were kidnapped. In April of 2014, 300 from the government secondary school in Chaibak, Nigeria, by a radical Islamic group called Boko Haram. In early May, the hashtag Bring Back Our Girls began to spread on Twitter. It raised the world's awareness of the mass abduction, and there are still a ton of girls missing. However, to date, thank God, almost 100 of them have been rescued or exchanged for political prisoners to that radical group. Speaking of radical, June, ISIS gains ground in Iraq. Although the Islamic State, ISIS, began its rise in early 2014, you know, the world took notice of this militant group when they embarked on a bloody campaign through Iraq in June. It captured city after city, forcing more than 1.7 million people to flee. So why did it matter? Well, ISIS has grown into one of the biggest radical threats in the world. You know, the well-funded group has launched a massive online recruitment effort aimed at Westerners. The U.S. launched an airstrike campaign on both Iraq and Syria in, in 2014 back then to help combat the group. That was 2014. Lots happened since then. July, awesome, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, I did it, how about you, was an awareness campaign that spread through social media where users are dared to their tell their friends to dump icy buckets of water on their heads. Well, here's the deal. More than $100 million was raised as a result of the challenge, the majority of which will go towards finding a cure for the neurodegenerative disorder. Although there are folks just doing it for fun out there, there's still money being raised today and still a much, much needed cure. I personally have a friend named Steven who suffers from this disease and is still giving and serving in his life with all he has for people around the world. Please do something, if you can, for ALS. So important. We want to find a cure. So, so horrible. December, on the good side of things, the U.S. and Cuba mend their relationships. The U.S. and Cuba took a huge step in mending diplomatic relationships on December 17th after Cuba released two Americans who had been imprisoned for years. We're choosing to cut loose the anchor of the past because it's entirely necessary to reach a better future. For our national interests, for the American people, and for the Cuban people. That's from President Obama. And uh, Raul Castro addressed his nation, calling the move progress, and saying that proves that it's possible to find a solution to many problems. It was the beginning of some great moments. There's a lot of people have been suffering in Cuba. So super excited for that opportunity to happen in 2014. You know, and looking back on 2014, there were, there were many things that happened. They're both good and bad for sure. I mean, what was it like in your life? Think to 2014. Sounds like it was a long time ago, but it's not. It's only five years. But think back. And the stories I share with you today are stories of extreme loss, horror, mystery, as well as incredible hope, community passion, and, and even generational breakthroughs. And we can all think of the negative really easy in our own lives, and uh, definitely for those around us. But today's challenge is for you to share a moment of community breakthrough that you either took part in or something you created specifically in the year of 2014. And what does that look like today? So here's what I'd like you to do. Post your comments below, down here, and let's share some incredible news that can inspire many who hear about your story here today. And you just may be featured in a story on one of my upcoming shows. I'd love to hear some great stories. So 
feel free to upload a picture with you and your story as well. Like a picture of something that happened that moment if you have it. And we'll see you the next time here on 2015. And guess what? I got my very special guest, Helen Renovic. Can't wait for her to be able to come on. You're going to hear her story tomorrow when we do 2015. See you then. Please donate to ASL. Not special.